in this lesson we will learn about bathtub curve nowadays bathtub curve is very common engineering term that is being used over various discipline to ascertain the life of a device to finalize the maintenance strategies of various equipments so what actually is a bathtub curve and how it is constituted and how we can use the bathtub curve is the main aim of this lesson as you can see that this is known as the bathtub curve now how it is constituted now this curve in the y axis you can see the y axis my uh, data is failure rate okay and in the x axis we have time so this curve is basically a failure rate versus time curve so this is the first thing now first look at this red dotted line so this is the failure rate that is getting dropped over the time this is known as the infant mortality failure so this failure rate is very high in the initial stage of the equipment and it decreases over the period of time again there is another failure which is known as wear out failure this failure is increasing with the time when these two failures infant mortality rate failure and these wear out failures and there is another kind of failure that is known as the random failure this random failure this you can see this green line it is constant over period of time because this is random failure so we have three kind of failure number one is the infant mortality failure number two is a wear out failure and number three is random failure if we add all these three failures we get this curve so like a flattened u your curve is getting and this is known as the path of curve as you can see that initially there is a decreasing rate of failure then there is almost constant rate of failure and this is the increasing rate of failure again so when we in what is early or infant mortality failure so when we installed any equipment there are there may be a number of errors there may be systematic errors like you uh, can have a wrong alignment you can have a loose bolting or uh, you can have a wrong calibration all these things so they add up to infant mortality failure this happens many times to us right the maintenance engineers knows is better that when they install some new device uh, there may be lots of checklist or all these things but still something may get missing or if checklist is not proper or checklist is not followed properly or checklist is not comprehensive or it is a totally new kind of instrument new kind of equipment and with the new technology uh, the people do not have so much knowledge about it so somehow some error scripts in and this results infant mortality or early failures so as we know the equipment as we uh, get to know about the equipment more we change our maintenance philosophy or whatever the fault is there whatever issue is there we correct them so this failure rate gradually drops down with the time now the second failure which is wear out failure or aging related failure so this kind of failure obviously which which will increase with the time because it is like uh, the like you have a if you have a car you know that the brake is there and there is one brake pad 
so as the car moves and more and more the brake is being pressed that brake pad uh, wears out so over the period of time it gets eroded and after a certain period of time it has to be replaced so that its efficiency can be maintained so this is a aging related failure so uh, this aging related failure can only be controlled while uh, by replacing it or with uh, proper uh, schedule maintenance we can uh, we can uh, we can get rid of it so ultimately uh, this aging related failure rate will obviously increase with time and there is another one where what is known as the random failure this random failure is do not depend on the time do not depend on the time when it is being used do not depend on the service life do not depend on the type of the maintenance that is being used it is a completely random kind of failure so it is constant over the period of time so when we add these things we get this part of cup and you when you see that this constant rate of failure this time this is basically useful life of the equipment this is basically useful life this is its time when uh, the device should be used because after this time the failure rate is increasing rapidly so in this time either there should be a proper maintenance so that this wear out kind of failure can be brought down so that this car becomes like flattened so that it can be used otherwise in this area if we use it the maintenance or bra uh, braking failures will be very high so this is basically the useful time so that's it for uh, this butt of curve hope you have understood the butt of curve uh, if you have any question you can write in the comment box